What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ruby Dragdoid here. And guys, today we're looking at another epic Bakugan. This is episode 8 of the Bakugan review series. I think. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm surprised we've actually gone. I've been pretty well with these videos. So we're going to be taking a look at another fan favorite, guys. Especially for Darkest Players. That Bakugan being... Reaper! So yeah, guys, this is Darkest Reaper. This is a very, very heavily fan-favorite Bakugan, and I really hope that they bring this guy into Season 4, or maybe the next season, or if we do keep getting scenes of the reboot, I really hope that they bring him in, because he is just an all-around badass Bakugan. Like, I'm not gonna lie. He is really awesome, and definitely a fan-favorite for Darkest Players. Um... He's got this really, really awesome look to him. This whole skull aesthetic. He, he literally is a Reaper. Like, he's literally like the Grim Reaper Bakugan. And it is so cool. He's got this, like, wings right here that look like they're claws that just wrap around him like this. And that's just... How he opens up is just awesome. Like, they really went into detail with this guy, I want to say. he got his horns up here. That's like his little hood. You know? It's like... I am the dark. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so to fold him up, you just put these in like this and then fold down the hood. And this is what he looks like in his ball form, like a flame aesthetic right there. And nice, beautiful purple to go along with the darkest black. It is just gorgeous. He does have the exposed magnet right there. I know some people were commenting if they had a fake one with the magnet exposed. Well, I would want to say that the first wave of the Bakugan actually had the magnet exposed. And then they decided to close it off because of... Choking hazard and stuff like that, and that's another reason why they up increased the ball size too. But that's the target symbol. It got rubbed off, of course, because me being stupid wanted to have an accurate one and not have a darkest symbol on it, you know, blah blah blah. But yeah, he is an awesome Bakugan, guys. Definitely one of my favorites. An old school favorite, definitely. And just menacing. He does have 350 G power, which made him just a little a little weaker than my Dragonoid. But, you boost him up right, he can become overpowering and just slice Dragonoid in half. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for Darkest Reaper. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, guys, leave a comment seeing if you have this Bakugan in your collection or if Reaper was your favorite. And also, guys, don't forget to hit that beautiful, beautiful Pirates Red subscribe button because it means the world to me. And it means you guys are joining one of the most epic, epic squads in the entire Bakugan community, the Ruby Squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.